now for something completely different. I wanted to try out 2D game animation or animation artwork for 2D games uh, for a while now. And I decided that I wanted to try out sprite making with hand-drawn images. So I found this tutorial by Blackthorn Prod. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. And there he shows a very simple process of making a sprite for animating a 2D character, but by using the different assets like the head, the body, the arms, the legs. So you don't have a sprite sheet with each individual pose, but you animate the individual pieces in Unity. And that's what I'm going to try today. So what you see me do here is rough sketching a very simple character design. I adapted Blackthorn Prod's approach with the bold outlines. Um, I can imagine it's much, much easier to handle uh, later on in the animation. So yeah, something very simple. It's a tiny viking. And once I have finished my sketch, I do the cleanup and I do every single item individually, like in the tutorial. So I have a head, I have a body, arms, legs and the shield. And the legs, I did something different. I separated the feet from the legs. So I color coded the left leg with the left foot and the right leg with the right foot. Because I wanted to be able to move the feet separate from the legs as well. After I finished the line art, I... Well, it's basic flat coloring, so I just fill in my colors. Uh, not too many colors and not too vibrant. Um, the colors are on a separate layer underneath the outline layer. It's very simple, straightforward. And once the flat colors are down, I add some details like some shadow or some light. I try to keep it all very basic, so to not overcomplicate things, but still make it look pretty. But also one thing that's a little bit tricky is working with the shadows, because you have to keep in mind that you're animating this later on. So with each piece you also have to look uh, behind the overlapping layers and make each individual part, like the head or the body or the arm, itself. Um, I'll make it look good as a single object and try to implement the shadow correctly, I would say. So it's a little bit of a try and error. I also did the chainmail there in a very simple manner. And yeah. I then saved a new version of this because I'm going to combine the outline layer and the color layer of each individual piece so that I only have one layer for each piece left. So if I want to correct something later on or change something, it's always good to have the version before I combine the layers and I'm going to continue with the version where I combine the layers, which is less editable. So then I prepare the sprite by separating the pieces like he did in the tutorial. Then crop the sprite so there's less blank space and it's easier to handle. Um, we hide the background so that it's transparent and it's finished. Now we can go to Unity. So I imported it into Unity and I would refer you to the tutorial there. Um, as I said, the link is in the description box below. I'm just following this tutorial myself. And for me, it's the first time ever using Unity. So I also go back and forth uh, between my work and watching the tutorial, what I have to do next and how to do it, where to click and all the stuff. So with Photoshop, there was no problem because I understand Photoshop well and I know what I'm doing. But Unity, it's a new interface and uh, also what I have to take care of. Uh, it's, it's completely new to me. I also struggle a little bit with the layer arrangement, so that I have my shield on top and where to put my foot and all stuff. Yeah, but after a while I got it, uh, I had to rearrange a lot of stuff because I had problems getting the pivot point right. Uh, he shows in the tutorial how to do this, but he does not mention that you have to change how 
the pivot point affects the pieces or the world. So objects or world uh, turning. I don't know, there's a comment that is pinned underneath the tutorial where I found my answer. And then finally, after rearranging the whole figure, I think three times or so, because each, each time you change the pivot point in your sprite sheet, you also change the placement of your uh, object. So yeah, but after I got that finally right, I had everything ready to move and it was finally time to animate. This is the part um, that was easy for me because I am an animator, I know how to animate. The interface is a little bit bewildering because I don't know it yet, but basically how you animate is always the same. So for the tutorial, I stayed with the very basic idle animation where it's like just standing and moving. I would also like to do some running and jumping and then maybe even use his tutorials because he has a lot of tutorial on his side. It's a black phone prod. They seem to be a small team of two brother indie game developers. So they do a lot of tutorial explain stuff the way that even a beginner like me can understand what they want to tell you. And so maybe I'm going to even try to implement this into a tiny little game frame just for fun. I don't know if that is uh, too much for my abilities, but yeah, that's the only way how you learn how to do things. And I mean, I'm an artist. I like to play around with stuff, even if it's not leading to a finished result. I just like to have fun. So here's the final result. Uh, I hope you like this video. And if you want to do something like this, go watch the tutorial. It was really great fun doing this, so I would recommend. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!